Good morning, Lance Panthers. Let's get ready for Lance Live. Good morning, Panthers. My name is Braylon. And my name is Elton. And now for today's weather. It's going to be a high of 60 and a low of 30, a 43. Now for today's weather winter bird. Fire wheels are tornadoes made of fire caused by wildfires. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join us in a moment of silence. You may be seated. Good morning, Panthers. It's a magnificent Monday. Today's lunch menu is cheeseburger, french fries, romaine salad, and fruit. Today's, we have birthdays over the weekend. The weekend birthdays are Shauna Bailey from Ms. Erickson's class, Tamika Winston from Ms. Vines' class, Makai Augusti from Ms. Odom's class, Zania Davidson from Ms. Wilson's class, Isabel Henderson from Miss Jacobs class. Make your way up to the office to get your surprise. My name is Cameron. Tonight we will play Shake Your Heart at home. Please come out and show your support. Now for our free throw moment. Did you know Will Chamberlain has the most rebounds in the NBA game? Did you know Jones Doctor was uh, six leaders in the NBA? Two, Two points. points. Good morning, Panthers. My name is Shania, and the character word for this week is compassion. Compassion means showing concern or sympathy for others. Today we're we'll interviewing Ms. Ledbetter. Ms. Ledbetter, what is one way that you like to show people? Well, let's say one of my students gets hurt or they're not feeling well. I kind of let them know of a situation I've been in before where I may have been hurt or not feeling well and kind of tell them how I got feeling better and see if maybe it'll help them. Bye. Good morning, Panthers. My name is Tyler, and the character word for this week is compassion. Compassion, showing compassion, con Concerned other sympathy for others. Miss Hargett, what's one way you like to show compassion? Um, one way that I like to show compassion is in my classroom daily. Just letting the students know that I am there for them whenever they need me. If they if they come into something on their work or anything, just to let them know that I'm always there for them anytime they need to talk to me or just to um, just come to me for anything. So by showing compassion, you just have to be concerned, um, just be concerned for others. Bye. Good morning, Panthers. My name is Azaria. My name is Asane. And, and it's, it's a, a magnificent, magnificent Monday. The Liberty Learning kickoff um, is January the 29th. And the identity kid is January the 31st. Good morning, students. We are blessed here at Lance to have a lot of technology. Uh, you can check out Chromebooks. You can put your hands on an iPad very easily if you would like to. Uh, but with the technology comes some additional responsibility. So I want to go over those with you this morning. First of all, the computers are only to be used for educational purposes. You are to only go to sites that your teachers have approved. Uh, the programs and settings on the computer are not to be adjusted. For example, you shouldn't be changing the names of folders. You should not be changing backgrounds on the computer. Uh, leave all of the settings as, as you found them. If you were to notice that your computer has been altered, you need to immediately 
notify your teacher because we as faculty and staff at Lance are going to enforce the acceptable technology use policy. For example, if you think it's funny to log into your friend's Moby Max account and pretend like you are them, that would be a breach of our acceptable use policy. Okay? So teachers, monitor the technology, net technology uh, on a daily basis. I know you do a great job with that. Should you notice a student at an inappropriate place or site or if you notice that they've altered some of our technology, please go ahead and fill out a referral form and they will lose privileges for a period of time. So let's be clear students, you are to only log in as yourself, you are to only be at sites that have been approved by your teachers, and the technology is not to be used for gaming, it's for learning. And I appreciate you helping me with this. Hey, I forgot to mention a couple of things. First of all, we are not to be downloading any apps or trying to delete any apps. And anytime you do that, there's a record of that attempt in the history. The other thing is there have been selfies that have been taken with the technology and also videos, even videos of your teacher. Uh, make no mistake, you will be in a lot of hot water if you video anybody without their permission. If you're on the broadcast team and you're videoing, that's one thing. If you have a video project for one of your teachers with specific instructions, that's completely different. However, you are not to be taking selfies with the technology. That is a surefire way of turning yourself in or videoing. Okay? Thanks, Lance. Good morning, students. It's Miss Krantz in the library with some more New Year New Books. First of all, we have a series of books called The Notebook of Doom for all of you friends out there who like scary stories. These are going to be really fun. You will be able to find these books in the scary genre section of our library. And we also have some highly requested books from some of our older friends called The Library of Doom. And these books will also be located in the scary section of our fiction part of our library. So come check them out. And you, you, and you have a live, learn, lead Panther Day.